Hi, this is Robert doing another video for Iowa Urban Permaculture. Just want to kind of give a quick tour here of some of the progress that I've made. Here are a couple of the contour swales I've been working on. Back here with these two is a combination of a Three Sisters mix that's modified with some melons and a couple of other things. Three Sisters mix is a Native American mix of corn, beans, and squash. They all work together. They have root, different root systems, different nutrient requirements, and they all kind of work together to kind of trellis and ground cover each other. This one down here is um, solanaceous. It's the pepper, uh, peppers, tomatoes, eggplants. And the reason that the solanaceous are all right here is because they're still within the footprint of this giant oak tree. And uh, they are not affected by the jug loan produced by the roots of the oak tree. Uh, this one down here is kind of a mix of some of my seed starts from my hugel culture mix I'd done. Um, mostly seed starts. I don't think I've tossed any seeds into this yet, but I will once it starts to come in, fill spots in and whatnot. Uh, this, these two up here are pretty much uh, the dirt dug out, covered with horse manure compost, and then covered over with um, with straw. This one down here is the dirt that's dug out, and then it's uh, same as this one over here. It's half and half horse manure compost and wood chips and then that one's covered over with straw and then this last one that I did down here as you can see it's filling up with water because I'm testing to make sure that it drains out properly. It looks like it's really nicely on contour all the way across. Here's my only little bit of concern right here is which side is going to drain out of because I think this is lower than this but I'm not 100% positive I just need it to kind of come up this way and dump off into the rest of the stuff I was going to try and do more swales on down this way but I may think I think I may just wait for another year to do that and I may just go ahead and do with what I've got now if anything down here I might do like a back to Eden kind of just mulch pad uh, a mix of the horse manure compost and um and wood chips but not on contour just kind of a big foot thick patch of them if I do anything else at all uh, but this here is a mix of just about everything it's I, I couldn't even begin to tell you what all seeds are in here I'd have to look I think I have like 30 different varieties of just everything in this swale this thing is huge <laughs> or at least long so I expect to, to get a decent amount out of it I don't know I, I did a kind of rough guesstimation eyeballing this trying to guess about how many 55 gallon bucket barrels would fit in this trench and I'm thinking I got between five and six hundred gallons of holding capacity right here of course when I put the wood chips fill it in with wood chips like I have with the rest of these up here because these are all uh, ditches dug on contour too uh, it won't qu hold quite as much but it will retain it better so it won't evaporate back off uh, some of the other stuff I got going on here this is the um, food forest mixed area uh, plum tree. I've got a bunch of support structure down here for the plum tree, different flowers and stuff to attract bees and hummingbirds. Uh, a circle around the perimeter is um, some uh, strawberry plants and asparagus. Down over here I got a Jersey blueberry with probably a couple of strawberries down around it. I can't remember exactly. There's one of those strawberries right there. Um, here's some uh, peonies that are coming back in that my stepmother had planted here a few years back. Uh, she was concerned that we were going to uh, do away with those, but we are not. We're making sure that they come back for her. Uh, i got a couple of little somethings right down here. I can't remember what this is. Probably a bean or, or I'm sorry, uh, some sort of runner. So it's going to be either a pumpkin or a uh, melon, something like that. Uh, red delicious apple. Um, triple clown thornless blueberry, or blackberry red lake currant a couple of corns mixed in there a little bit of the three sisters mixed kind of sprinkled into the food forest area over here is my hookah culture bed I don't know if you can really get a, an idea of scale on this without somebody standing next to it and I'm usually doing these by myself so right now that's not an option still got some trenches to get filled in here but I've pretty much used up all my wood chips so I have to wait for another delivery uh, 
As you can see daffodils, crocuses are already beyond their blooming period. Um, some strawberries down here. Some other strawberries up here. I think those are sweet potatoes popping up in the middle. This St. Croix grape. I don't know if it survived the winter because there was a pocket of air underneath it that may have dried the roots out too much. Another strawberry. Mostly just focusing on the food here. These hyacinths are really pretty. Down here beside it you can see a bean. Bean sprout popping up that I just stuck in here the other day to start fixing some nitrogen. Here's another bean sprout nitrogen fixer. Oh yeah, uh, the fruits. This is a gooseberry. I love gooseberries. Always had them as a kid. Blueberry, it's starting to show some sprouts on it or some new growth. Definitely good. Uh, here's another little food forest patch. Uh, I got a pear in the center. Uh, black satin, thornless blackberry. Another red lake currant. You can see some strawberries here, here, and here. Support structure around here, flowers and other stuff, nitrogen fixers. Uh, here's a raspberry, and then another raspberry over there. Latham and Williamette, and then a little trellis I got them set up on. There are different wires here they can grow on. Um, oh yeah, and then along the back here I've got a trench that's pretty much going to be for grains. Um, oh, the trench is dug over here. And then this swale. Um, I got right now I just have amaranth and quinoa in there. But I'm going to add oats and barley that haven't arrived yet. They should be here in a few days. Down here I've got a um, eastern concord grape. Now down here mixed in with it is again that 50-50 mix of horse manure compost and wood chips. Uh, either one by themselves would probably be a little too much, like the wood chips would soak up too much nitrogen, the horse manure compost would put off too much nitrogen, but together they balance out just right. Um, and then, you can see i got some posts that run across the back here where the seating area is. I'm going to take this uh, grape and kind of trellis it across in that direction. And then I still have to pick up one more thing that I'm going to trellis on here too. Right in this corner right here I'm going to put a kiwi, a Isaiah, or I think it's called Isaiah Hardy Kiwi, and then I'm going to trellis it in the other direction uh, with the grape. That one actually takes a few years to grow some fruit. But um, So there we are. There's my third video installment for Iowa Urban Permaculture. I hope everybody has enjoyed. Please feel free to visit us on YouTube or Facebook. I don't know the exact link addresses right now, but uh, just search Iowa Urban Permaculture, and you'll definitely find it. Thank you. Oh, real quick, one more thing I forgot to add. Back here at this swale, we are starting to overflow just now. The water's moving really slow all the way from the other end, even though it's on full blast. There's a lot of water holding capacity here, so it does look like my ledge over here is lower. <laughs> Than the lip over here so that's that's good I'm still gonna dig it out just a little bit to let that kind of start flowing through because I don't want it to raise any higher than it is right now because if you can see like right over here it's starting to touch up into the swale and if it can touch up into the swale then it could potentially go over the firm dirt and wash the swale out and I sure as hell do not want that to happen but anyways oh here we go we're starting to move all right so I'm gonna dig a little bit of this out and um, once again, thanks for watching and tune in for more from Iowa Urban Permaculture. Thank you.